Welcome back, Murderheads. This is What The F Car Finds on Facebook Marketplace. Up first, got 2012 Ford for $630. Well, on this episode of Arts and Crafts with Crackhead Bob, Crackhead Bob decided to have a little fiesta. <laughs> what in the hell are we even looking at here, people? The seller says he's looking for the new owner to cherish this ride as he has. <laughs> I can't with you people. <laughs> that car should have been on the trailer when it went to the dump. Up next, got a 2001 Mustang for $800. <laughs> oh God. I think Michigan officially has turned her hat into the ring. Said, hold my beer. We're going to prove that we are more redneckers than the South. <laughs> what in the hell, man? He said, that's why it's $800 and they ain't bolt it down and it don't run. For the love of God, people, stay out of the damn dispensary up in Michigan because it's creating bad ideas like this. It's not working out for you. Um, that's got a 1984 Chevrolet Corvette for $52.65. Now what in the retard of that customs is going on here with this stupid thing? This is just not cool. This is not good. This is... This is actually pretty dumb. Now, there's some interesting things going on in the engine area there. It might be interesting, but the Jeep grill didn't help your program. Them throwing that on there. And this is why. And the exhaust. I just see somebody burning the ever loving hell out of themselves getting in and out of that thing. Oh, this is just dumb. I felt dumber for looking at this damn thing. Did you actually sit back and look at it and say, oh, this is awesome? I rule. No, you don't. This is dumb. Up next, got 2009 Chevrolet HHR for $5,500. What in the Pink Panther and Barbie Love Juice hell is going on with this poor HHR? Why? This is absolutely freaking hideous. And the sheer fact that you didn't just contain the hideousness onto the outside... No, you brought it inside to show everybody on the planet that you've got probably the most horrible taste in the entire freaking universe with this. What in the absolute hell, man? Up uh, next, got 1949 Ford for $10,499. I swear to God, some people should just not be allowed to have tools, should not be allowed to have money to make purchases should not be allowed to make any decisions on trying to do any kind of customization. Because the only thing you've done is chopped up something and made it short. I don't mind the roof chop. And I, I don't really care for it too much. But it's not the worst thing you could have done here. Everything else that you've done around it is the worst thing you could have done here. So please keep this in mind. If you ever see this, don't ever do this again! Uh, next, a 1976 Jeep for $9,500. <laughs> so says she's going to bring you home a trophy. Yeah, she's going to bring you home a trophy of the Dumbassery Award for giving him $9,500 for this POS. This damn thing ain't worth $9,500. I don't care that you put an LS in it. It's not worth $95 damn hundred dollars, man. No. Um, next guy, 1979 GMC for $22.50. <laughs> Professionally welded full-time posse. <laughs> so that means his welds suck. He got Joe Bob Dukes since he's got clean welds. So now it is professional. Get the hell out of here, dude. Go put your damn helmet back on. Get your crayons out. And just admit you're too cheap to go buy a posse unit and you welded it together. Y'all be careful when you see the word professional. Uh, next got 1974 Volkswagen for $17,900. Well, this is definitely a what the F, but it's not a what the F in a bad way. At least I don't think it is. Other than the price, yeah, I think the price is quite high. I know you Volkswagen guys are coming for me. Oh, it's well worth that. Yeah, it's not well worth that to me. I wouldn't pay that much money for a Volkswagen. I'm sorry. I just wouldn't do it. Now, if this was a little bit more moderately priced, I would definitely bring it home and play around with it for a while before I probably give it around to somebody else and let somebody else have a turn playing with it. 
or dissected it and took parts off of it or something. I don't know what the hell would happen. I got problems too, you know, like the rest of you. Well, that's all I got for you today. If you liked today's video, make sure you smash that like button. Consider subscribing. I'll see you guys in the next one.